All right, so we're going to do a left robotic thymectomy. My used to favor going sub xiphoid, and I haven't been so happy with the sub xiphoids either with the SP or even the XI. Most of you won't have the SP. You're going to be using an XI. You can go sub xiphoid, but a lot of people still like the chest. So now we're going to say, show you how we do the incisions for the chest. Come on over. So I was just drawing a little diagram here. A lot of people will talk about making a V incision like this. And what we've done is made us our softer V, kind of like this, and here's what that means. So you find your patient, you count your ribs. Ribs 12, 11, there's the 10th rib, and here's the 9th rib. You mark out the entire 9th rib, okay? You know that if you go to this very lower part, here's the patient's contour of her breast. You don't want to be in her breast tissue. This lower port then has to be in the chest, it can't be in the belly, so that's your rate limiting step. But you don't start there, you start in the camera. So how do you determine where to go? Well, you take that port right here where it's gonna go, you go on the rib and you're gonna cheat up at about a 45 degree angle. Don't worry, this is not too technical. And you go eight centimeters from here. So if here's this incision, eight centimeters puts you right there. That's how you start. Your next port, ruler please, your next port is also eight centimeters, but it has to be below where the internal mammary empties into the anominate, otherwise this hand is too high. So I usually do under direct vision, but I can mark out and say it's gonna be about there. If that is a problem, then this angle comes down a little bit more, which I'm gonna do here today, since that looks a little high. And then I can also get eight millimeters this way by turning a little bit of an angle, hence the V. But you start here, that's first. This port's second under direct vision. And you look and see the internal mammary where it empties to the anominate, and you make sure you then follow the rib over with the camera in, and you put this port inferior to that. That's how you do a left thymectomy port placement. All right, thank you.